I accidentally bought the perfect Miata. I'm being honest here. This is, it was purely an accident. I wasn't planning on buying it. I wasn't looking to buy a Miata, but it was a deal that just fell on my lap. And I, I couldn't resist it, so I just ended up buying it. The story behind it is this girl came into the shop and I had the vehicle up in the air and I looked at everything that it needed and it was like $4,000 in repairs. It wasn't gonna pass smog because, let me just say this right now. <laughs> the This freaking Miata has a turbo on it. A little, little turbo, and she wasn't aware of this, but in California, can't really do anything to your car in California. And since this thing has a turbo, it wasn't gonna pass emissions. It wasn't gonna be able to be registered, so she was shit out of luck. So she asked me, hey, do you wanna buy this Miata? And I just, I just couldn't resist it. And when you took it for a test drive with a girl, which you guys took almost an hour. Hey, yo, cut, cut. First reaction when I saw this car, it was like, it has a great paint job. It looks complete. I like that it has a hard top already. It sounds like it has a big ass turbo in it. So I was very impressed on how, how it sounds. Yeah, when you came back from the test drive, I could hear you from a mile away. And I was like, man, that's a, sounds like an Evo. I don't know, sounds like a GTR with a big ass turbo. So I was like, damn, who's, who's coming in? And then I saw that it was you. So a car to sound this fucking mean and just being this small, a Miata, it's, it's insane. It sounds like I'm driving a Skyline. This thing, you guys will hear it. This thing sounds really, really good. The turbo, it's got the, the compressor surge that, you know, it sounds pretty cool. When it first showed up, it was all dusty. It had been sitting for a while. So I was a little concerned about the quality of the paint job. It didn't look as nice. I had to wash it, I had to clean it up. It looks really good on camera for you right now. The hood, when I was driving, it wouldn't stay closed. It wanted to uh, continue to lift up. Do you remember that? Yeah, that shit was shady. So actually behind the scenes, I spent some time realigning all that and getting it to close down and stay down. After driving that, I was like, yeah, this car's gonna be pretty sketchy, but not, not as much as I would've thought. Does this color look good with my skin? It's a pretty good looking color. But yeah, this window, it doesn't roll down at all. I still gotta fix that. But if you come and look at the interior, it's a complete Miata interior. Everything is there, it's pretty clean. It doesn't have AC obviously because of the turbo. It does have the kickers, it can definitely play some slappers. And it came with this hardtop paint match and everything, but it's not the cool OEM hardtop. It's kind of like a, a replica third party. But I mean, it still makes the car look good. One thing I do hate about the car is this taillights. They look pretty eBay, eBay-ish, pretty crappy. Other than that, I like the fact that the car is almost completely stock. Good paint job, hardtop, that's a plus. That to me itself, even if the car was a piece of shit, I was like, yeah, it's worth 2,500 bucks. I took a gamble. I assumed that the car was gonna be rusty. I was expecting this to be all rusty and shit, but it's got the, the original floor mats. If, and if you peel it back, there's no rust. It's like magic. If you look in the corners, there might be surface rust, but that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about here is like, when you, you can see through the ground, when you can put your foot through it and stop the car, that's when it's a problem. But not right now, that's not the case with this car. This car is pretty, pretty good shape. So once I saw that, I was like, okay, we got a clean title Miata has 140,000 miles, no rust, we're looking good. Do, do I look like a Miata guy? Not really, you look like a Corvette guy. Corvette guy? I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like I look pretty good in this car, but even then, I definitely wanted to bring you guys content, so that's why I bought it initially. Let me show you the most exciting thing that I found out about this car, so let's go, let's go. So the hood is obviously fixed, I fixed that behind the scenes, and you can tell the hinges are not properly aligned because it kind of wants to stay. It's not supposed to do that. It's got the Bluetooth hood lift supports. All right, so what I see, this has a B12 BTEC. I see some blue wires. There's some red NOS line right here. I see the headers, the uh, vibranium headers shipped from Stark Industries. Other than that, the B10 on these things is gonna sound insane. I see a 46 inch turbo with about 50 pass of pressure, 40 PSI. So that's a lot of boost. Every time these guys speaks, I just I just learned so much. There's so much to take in, so much knowledge. Man, you're you're a genius, bro. That's the thing about engines. They relax me. So I didn't know this at first. I thought it was just a, a regular 1.6 liter that comes in all the Miatas, but I come to find out this is a JDM swap. This is not a regular engine that you can get in a Miata, at least not in the US. So you see how these letters in the valve cover are raised up. They're not sunken in like and carved into the valve cover. And you see the way the coil pack is on the passenger side instead of on the driver's side. That's only on a special Japanese engine that's a 1.8 liter that goes into the Miatas. I think it's called a BP8 or something like that. Don't quote me. I'm obviously not a Miata guy because when I saw this, I didn't know what I was looking at. It just looks like a regular ass Miata engine, but it turns out this thing's got the meat and potatoes and it's got a turbo. So this engine itself, it's it's a pretty desirable engine. So at this point, my, my heart was pounding. It was going 
boom, boom. The value of this car just keeps on increasing, increasing. That's how you know you have a good flip on your hands. You don't make the money when you sell the car. You make it when you buy it. And that's Car Trapping 101 for you guys. A free course. I don't know anything else about the engine. I might be finding up some things in the future. This turbo, I saw that it says Air Research. I'm not sure if that's a valuable turbo on this car or if it's just a, a basic ass turbo, but it's turbo and it sounds pretty good. I do see this intake, it's a Invisia intake. Again, I don't know if that's valuable or if that's good for the Miatas, but I know the engine for a fact. It's a great engine to have in this car, a car so light, any little horsepower that you can increase on it, it's just gonna be a lot more fun. So you can't even see the turbo, especially not with this lighting, but it's a tiny little turbo. It's just, just look at the size for reference. It's, it's just too, it's, it's too tiny. You can't really do much with it, but it's, it's a lot of fun though. I do have to say that the suspension is completely jacked up on this car. It has to be redone. The brakes have to be redone. So it does need some work. It's not the perfect car. I was clueless about what I was looking at. So that's why I offered so little. This is so new to me. These, these are things that I'm finding out about the car that increase its value. I had no idea that all these things were in the car when I made the initial purchase, but I, was, I just thought it was gonna be a piece of shit like most of the Miatas, like your Miata. I guess it's time to take it on a test drive so you guys can experience the beautiful sounds it makes because it's not just a pretty car, it actually goes. Turn it on, broski. Let's hear the, the sauce. Oh yeah, so that's one of the problems that I forgot to mention. Sometimes it does this thing where it doesn't want to start. Let's keep trying. There we go. There we go. We got it to start. Damn, bro. I need a, I need a turbo car. What are those noises? Compressor search, the blow up. It's just, it's just a good experience driving this car. <laughs> it is, it, it is fun. I always wanted a turbo car, so after driving this, I think I need one. That's the same thing I thought. That's the same exact thing I thought. I was like, hmm, the Integra might be getting a turbo soon. <laughs> Oh, it sounds so sexy, not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah, I forgot to mention that this is actually the first turbo car that we own, both in the channel and personally, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it's a, a Miata with the turbo, it's a, it's a good beginner car. <laughs> so many noises. So many fucking noises. Uh, 1.8 liter, it's got a turbo, it's got a good paint job, it's got new tires, but it's, it's the whole package. It can't get any better than this. Uh, I never thought I'd be having so much fun with the little Miata. A turbo Miata. A turbo Miata. Man, that just sounds so good. You gotta have sketchy cars to have fun sometimes. It's not always about being safe, but still stay safe. But yeah, it's, it's an amazing experience. Now I need a turbo car. That's all I gotta say, now I need a turbo car. I'm gonna go into the marketplace and start looking for turbo cars or cars that I can easily put turbos in. We got the unicorn. Isn't it supposed to have turbos coming up out of the hood, bro? What's going on there? That's up to you guys. If you guys support us, then you might see turbos in that car, but you guys are slacking, so no turbos for now. Yeah, no turbos. Let's stay in this stock. Same with the S2000. If you remember, remember that one time where I was helping our friend Nuflum find a Miata or find a daily driver and I drove that red Miata? It was pretty fun driving the car as it was and it was completely stocked. 
stock Miata was fun enough. Now imagine that with the turbo. It's, it's such a great experience. It makes me, it truly makes me happy. Let me, let me take this, let me make eye contact with you. It's, it's such a great experience. I'm glad I was able to share this experience with you. My first turbo car, the channel's first turbo car. So yeah, I accidentally bought the ultimate Miata. This, this is it, this is the car right here.